chapter 10, Good Reason. As I'm listening today, I'm going to think about what is the point of view? How is the author telling this story? Is Despero telling the story? That could be first person. Is the princess telling this story? That would be first person. Is the author talking directly to us, saying, reader, do you yes. notice this? That would be second person. Or is the author telling the story where we can hear and think and see what all of the characters are doing? That would be third person. Listen and have your idea in your head. The entire mouse community, as instructed by the most honored head mouse, had gathered behind the castle ballroom. The members of the Mouse Council sat on three bricks piled high and spread out before them was every mouse, old and young, foolish and wise, who lived in the castle. They were all waiting for Despero. Make way, said Furlo. Here he is, I've got him, make way. Furlo pushed through the crowd of mice. Despero clung to his brother's tail. There he is, the mice whispered. There he is. He's so small. They say he was born with his eyes open. Some of the mice pulled away from Despero in disgust. Oh. And others, thrill seekers, reached out to touch him. The princess put a finger on him. They say he sat at the foot of the king. It is simply not done, came the distinctive voice of Despero's Aunt Florence. Make way, make way, shouted Furlo. I have him right here. I have Despero Tilling, who has been called to sit with the Mouse Council. He led Despero to the front of the room. Honored members of the Mouse Council, said Furlo. I have brought you Despero Tilling, as you requested to sit with you. He looked over his shoulder at Despero. Let go of me, Furlo said. Despero dropped Furlo's tail. He looked up at the members of the Mouse Council. His father met his gaze and then shook his head and looked away. Despero turned and saw a sea of mice. To the dungeon, a voice cried out. Straight to the dungeon with him. Despero's head, which had been full of delightful phrases like happily ever after and lovely ears and I honor you, suddenly cleared. Straight to the dungeon, another voice shouted. Enough said the most honored head mouse. The trial will be conducted in an orderly fashion. We will act civilized. He cleared his throat. He looked at Despero. Son, turn and look at me. Despero turned. He looked up into the head mouse's eyes. There were dark eyes, deep and sad and frightened. And looking into them, Despero's heart thudded once, twice. Despero Tilling, said the house mouse, head mouse. Yes, sir, said Despero. We, the 14 members of the Mouse Council, have discussed your behavior. First, we will give you a chance to defend yourself on the rumors of your egregious acts. What do you think egregious means, Clara? Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they do not think that sitting with the princess is a good thing. Did you or did you not sit at the foot of a human king? I did, said Despero. But I was listening to the music, sir. I was there to hear the song that the king was singing. To hear what? The song, sir. He was singing a song about deep purple falling over the garden walls. The head mouse shook his head. Whatever you are talking about is beside the point. This is the question, and only this. Did you sit at the foot of a human king? I did, sir. <gasps> community of mice shifted their tails and paws and waited. And did you allow the human girl, the princess, to touch you? Her name is P. Never mind her name. Did you allow her to touch you? Yes, sir, said Despero. I let her touch me. It felt good. <gasps> rose from the assembled mice. Despero heard his mother's voice. Mon Dieu, it is not the end of the world. It was a touch. It is simply not done, came Aunt Florence's voice from the crowd. To the dungeon, said the mouse in the front row. Silence, roared the most honorable head mouse. 
Silence. He looked down at Despero. Do you, Despero Tilly, understand the sacred, never to be broken rules of conduct for being a mouse? Yes, sir, said Despero. I, I guess so, but did you break them? Yes, sir, said Despero. He raised his voice, but, but I broke the rules for good reason, because of music and because of love. Love? said the head mouse. Oh, cripes, said Furlo. Here we go. I love her, said Despero. We are not here to talk about love. This trial is not about love. This trial is about you being a mouse, shouted the most honored head mouse from high atop the bricks. And you are not acting like one. Yes, sir, said Despero. I know. No, I don't think you do know. And because you do not deny the charges, you must be punished. You are to be sent as an ancient castle mouse law decrees to the dungeon. You are being sent to the rats. That's right, shouted the mouse in the cry. That's the ticket, the dungeon, the rats. Oh, Despero's small heart sank to the tip of his tail. There'd be no light in the dungeon, no stained glass window, <clears throat> no library, no books, no Princess P in the dungeon. But first, said the most honored head mouse, we will give you the chance to renounce your actions. We will allow you to go to the dungeon with a pure heart. Renounce? Repent. Do you think renounce and repent me? Re-say them. Not re-say them, Clara. Um, talk. Talk. Well, let's read around that word. If we don't know what a word means, we read right after it. Say that you are sorry that you sat at the foot of the human king. So what does renounce and repent mean, Clara? Sorry. Say you're sorry. It means to feel regret or feel bad about what you did. Say that you are sorry that you allowed the human princess to touch you and say that you regret those actions. Despero felt hot, and then cold, and then hot. Renounce her. Renounce the princess? Mon Dieu, said the mother. Son, do not ask the fool. Renounce, repent. What say you, Despero Tilling? I say, I say, I say no, whispered Despero. What, said the head mouse? No, said Despero. I am not sorry. I will not renounce my actions. I love her. I love the princess. Ooh, there was a bellow of collective outrage. The whole of the mouse community surged toward Despero. The mice seemed to be one angry body with hundreds of tails and whiskers and mouth opening and closing and closing and saying over and over and over, to the dungeon, to the dungeon, to the dungeon. The words pounded through Despero's body with each beat of his heart. Very well, said the most honored head mouse. You will die then with a black heart. Threadmaster, bring the thread. Despero marveled at his own bravery. He admired his own defiance. And then, reader, he fainted.